Hey guys, this is Sunny from Fruit for Trade. Since the last video released about the Canton Fair, many friends have come to ask me what is the difference between the Canton Fair and the EU market. Now, I have sorted out 10 of your common questions and answered them one by one. First of all, EU market is the largest wholesale market in the world, while Canton Fair is the most famous trade show in China. Second is about the location. Canton Fair is in Guangzhou city, Guangdong province. EU market is in EU city, Zhejiang province. The distance from EU to Guangzhou is about 1,200 km. The fastest way of transportation between EU and Guangzhou is aircraft. It takes around 2 hours, and there are more than 10 flights to choose from every day. Number 3. Canton Fair just opens for a few days in April and October every year. EU market opens all year round except for a half month close during Chinese New Year. That means that you should plan ahead to go to Canton Fair, but you can decide to go to EU at any time that is available for you. Number 4. Canton Fair has more big manufacturers and big trading companies. EU market has more small factories and distributors. Number 5. Canton Fair has a MOQ of thousands or tens of thousands or one full container only for big importers. EU market has MOQ from a few dozens to a few hundreds. You can mix 200 items in one container. Welcome small shop owners come to EU. Number 6. At Canton Fair, almost all suppliers speak English and know what is FOB. At EU market, only few suppliers speak little English and have no idea about what is FOB. You should find a reliable and a professional agent in EU. Number 7. Canton Fair have all new designs come out at a time. EU market has new designs from time to time. Some designs are not new, but as they never exist in your market, so they are new. Number 8. The price in EU market is much cheaper than in Canton Fair. You can find very cheap items like socks 10 cents US dollars, hairpin 5 cents, ballpoint pen 8 cents slippers 50 cents, toys 30 cents and so on in EU market. Number 9. The total number of suppliers in EU market is much more than in Canton Fair. There are more than 100,000 suppliers in EU market. Number 10. If you have time, you can first attend Canton Fair, then fly from Guangzhou to EU and visit EU market. We want to see more and more customers come to EU market from Canton Fair in recent years. Our suggestion is, if you are sourcing for a few specific products for big corporations, your quantity is by 40 high-Q containers, then go to trade fairs. If you just have a few stores or one department store and you want lots of products to mix in one container, then come to EU market. If you are only open to trade with manufacturers or big factories, trade fairs are more suitable for you. If you are only comfortable with direct relationship with factories and the manufacturers, no matter how good or how bad they are, you will feel comfortable with trade fairs. If you only feel safe to sign formal contracts, pay by LC, talk to professional looking people, you will have happier faces at trade fairs. And if you hate big population at fair and you from at ridiculous hotel rates during fair season and you don't have a right time for trade fairs, then come to EU market. And if all your competitors go to a big trade fair and buy same stuff, you'd better not go there, you can come to EU. So now, do you know that you should choose to go to Canton Fair or to EU Market? Whether you choose to go to Canton Fair or EU Market, we can provide all the services you need to export from China, such as sourcing, guiding, translation, purchasing, quality control and inspection, document preparation, customs declaration, shipping and so on. Our services is not only limited in EU city, 
We can help you to do business in any other places in China. We would like to be your trusted partner in China. Do you still want to know more about EU market and the Canton Fair? Welcome to leave a comment below. I will answer for you one by one. Well, today's video is here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.